A month or two ago, I got this fan with a cooler, and in addition to the usual black and red power input leads, it has a third blue lead for PWM input. This seemed like quite a nice idea. Slow down the fan when the power doesn't need it, and you'll have a much quieter setup. So I plugged the lead into the nominated GPO pin, downloaded the supplier's script, and ran it. Only it didn't do what I thought it would. It just turned the fan on at full speed above a certain temperature, which I think was 55 degrees. And it was just turned off below this temperature. A bit puzzled by this odd use of PWM control, I then had a look for some other scripts. All of the ones I found had some variants of turning the fan on or off at a certain temperature. Some through the script and some using Raspberry Pi OS's built-in fan control. This solution obviously has some benefits as the fan is only running when it needs to be, but it isn't really using the PWM control. In fact, with the 5 to 6 milliamp current draw that these fans typically have, you could probably just plug the 5 volt supply lead into one of the GPO pins and turn it on and off directly. You don't even need it to be a PWM fan. I wouldn't suggest doing this permanently as there is a higher startup current and you'll probably run into issues if you add multiple fans. So I got to writing my own PWM script. It actually uses a varying PWM output to control the speed of the fan, not just turn it on or off. The script fetches the CPU temperature, then scales the temperature between 25 and 80 degrees and turns it into a fan speed between 0 and 100. It then sets this as a PWM fan speed. Then I hit run to try it out. This is when I figured out why these scripts all just use 100% on or off as their so-called PWM control. These fans all sound horrible if you're actually trying to vary their speed. Running at any level of reduced speed, they're way louder than they are when just running at full speed, so there really is no point to reducing their speed. I thought this may be related to the PWM frequency. I had it initially set as 100Hz, as this is what was in the other scripts. But I tried reducing it to 50Hz, and increasing it to 120Hz. And this made very little difference. It just changed the frequency of the noise that the fan produced. And this wasn't just a bad fan. I literally tested this on over 10 different fans from different suppliers. Some were a little better or worse than others, but they were all noisy to the point where it was quieter to just run the fan at full speed all the time. I then recalled buying a Noctua PWM fan for a build a while ago, and I just never got round to using it. This has a 4 pin connector as it provides RPM feedback as well as PWM control but we'll just leave that disconnected for now. Like with the RGB fan, I plugged this into 5 volts, ground, GPO pin 14, and then tried out the same script. This time it ran perfectly. Noctua fans are known for being quiet, and being a 40mm fan, you can still hear some fan noise at full speed. but anything under 50% is practically silent. You can also actually slow the fan down to almost zero without any issues or weird noises coming from it. I then worked on cleaning up the script and I actually made two versions of it. One turns the fan on when a minimum temperature has been reached and then ramps the speed up sequentially to full speed at the pi's thermal throttling temperature of 80 degrees. This is fine for the Noctua fan, but if you're using a fan that produces any noise or frequency hum, then it gets annoying to have the pitch of the sound constantly changing. So the second version ramps up the speed in steps rather. This means that the fan operates at a fixed speed for a given temperature range, so the pitch of the sound doesn't change that often. So if a quieter fan is something you'd like to try, then I recommend trying out this 40mm 5V Noctua fan that you can actually PWM control. It's obviously a lot more expensive than the clear RGB ones shipped with most cases and coolers, but it might be worth it if you value silence. 
I'll put a link in the video description to my blog where you can see the connection details and get instructions on how to download and install the script. I'd also be interested to see if anyone's had any luck in getting the clear RGB fan to run quietly under PWM control. If you have, please let me know what you did in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.